Blueberry Lemonade. So I've got three drinks, by the way. No particular theme apart from the fact that you glug them down your pie hall. I love that term, pie hall. But Blueberry Lemonade, I've seen like pink lemonade and stuff before and other ones, but blueberries definitely weird. And I like the fact it says made with fruit. That's not something to boast about. That's something that should be expected of you. Anyway, not a big fan of blueberries. And I'm not a big fan of lemonade, so I'm not what, not sure what to expect from this. Um, let me give this a sniff. My painted sniff test. Test. I want a bit of preffy there. A bit of a weird comparison I'm going to make. If you ever had slush puppies, I don't know if that's a thing outside of the UK. It smells like the blue one. That's it. It just smells like that fake blue raspberry flavour. But does it taste like blueberry? I hope not, since I don't like blueberries. Um, I was going to get like a cup, but I can't be asked, so pardon me and bottoms up. Oh, right off the bat, it's not carbonated, although you probably guessed that when I opened it up. Not a problem, not an issue. I don't understand the point of carbonation in drinks. I think it's a waste of time and money. But definitely heavy emphasis on the lemonade. Didn't really get much blueberry, if any, but it was fine. I actually think I prefer this to lemonade. I wonder if that little subtle amount of blueberry actually made it better. By the way, you may notice I'm wearing like a big plaster. I've managed to cut myself like 15 million times this week. I've got a cut there. I got a cut there. I got a cut there. I've got a little cut there and a cut there from today because I'm very clumsy. I hope you don't mind the blood. Don't worry, that's not one of the drinks I will be drinking today. I have not turned into a vampire. But back on topic, I'm sorry. I have to get to the, the main point of this review. This is fine. I'm actually going to have a little bit more for clarification. My freezer decided to start making noises. Bad freezer, ow, that hurt. That's perfectly fine. I will happily finish that off. Sniff. Um, yeah, I think that's better than normal lemonade. I think that little subtle amount of blueberry actually improves it. Um, but next, it's probably the most interesting of the three items. Faluda. Rose flavour milkshake with basil seed. Now, I'm pretty sure this is typically an Indian dessert, usually made with ice cream, I believe. I actually have had something very similar to this in the past. It wasn't a drink, it was like one of those things, like powders where you add like milk to it. It's been a few years, I forgot. And I'm pretty sure it was this. You know, it was rose flavoured, had basil seeds, I think it had like little bits of noodle in it. I remember it being very, very sweet, very, very aromatic and a little bit too much so. So I'm assuming this is just the dessert, albeit it's now a milkshake. By the way, I think I need to milk give that a shake first. Just as a precaution, I'm expecting this to be very sweet. Freaking sweet. Can't open it. Give me a second. Oh, there we go. I, I wrung its neck. I don't know why I'm putting it back down. I need to sniff it anyway. Oh, that is very sweet and aromatic. But yeah, I mean, I was about to say rose flavour. That's a bit odd. But of course, you do get rose flavour Turkish delights, which my dad loves Turkish delights. If I don't know what to get him for like a gift... Turkish delight, although I'll tell you, much harder to come across them here in Weymouth than it was in Bristol. Like you needed to know that. Shake well before use, I was a good boy, did that, and best served chilled. Oh, I'm a pretty chill fella. Um, and I'm going to put this in my Bella. Billy. I expect this to be very sweet. I expect this to be nice, but just a bit too much. Down the hatch. It's actually a lot less sweet than I... Pardon me. <laughs> it's a lot less sweet than I thought it would be, but that's actually a compliment. I think you can make things too sweet, it actually becomes a bit too much to eat. Sort of like a korma, funnily enough, you know. I love a sweet korma, but like the first half is really nice, but then it comes a bit too much to finish, even if you do have room. But it also, I, I didn't realise this until now, it has um, chunks in it. Uh, Nata de coco, you can't see that on the camera. Um, I forgot what it is. It's like... Now it's a cocoa, I'll put a description on the screen, but I know what it is, I've had it before, but it just threw me off a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. I, again, I'll, I'll finish this one off. It's nice. Um, i got to be honest, I don't understand the point of the chunks in it. I'd rather it just be like a completely smooth thing, I think that's just more appealing. I'm not one of the... You get people that don't like um, orange juice with pulp. I'll drink orange juice with pulp. I don't have an issue, but I'd rather not have the pulp. Anyway, so 
Wow, two items in a row that I like. Can we do a hat trick? Right, so item number three is a big bottle, a big boy. I put it on, I put it on an angle. It's Vimto, which by the way is an anagram for vomit. I don't know if that was on purpose. I hope not. Maybe they're hoping that having like a, a vomity name would somehow appeal to people, get more attention. But this is passion fruit and lychee. Put it that way around. Now, I do like lychee flavoured things. Again, kind of like this. It's very sweet and aromatic. Now, I have had lychee flavoured sweets before. Was it called Haichu? Can never find them anymore. I have had lychee flavoured drinks before. Rubicon lychee is very nice. Very strong though. But the fact that it's lychee and passion fruit, I feel that might mellow out a little bit. Um, I was going to get a cup for this one, but I can't be bothered. So, pardon me. I'm just going to open this. I found this in Asda for like one twenty-five. It was an offer, and I thought that's not bad in this day and age where everything's gone up in price because of inflation, greed. Not even going to finish that word off. All right, I'm going to give this a sniff. All right, I'll be honest. There wasn't a huge, a huge hint of lychee in this. It smelled more like the passion fruit, which is a little bit worrying. Um, hopefully we'll we will discover the lychee flavour when I give it a good old taste. Down the hatch. Oh, I hit the camera, you fucking idiot. Oh, don't swear. Alright, down the hatch. Boo! <laughs> Boo! The passion fruit almost completely overrides the lychee. That's really disappointing. Um, Because I love lychee stuff, and I was hoping it would be, oh, nice lychee with a little bit of extra. It doesn't ruin it, and to be honest, it is my own personal taste. But you want a better balance regardless, even if I do prefer one side more than the other. Yeah, this is disappointing. If you're looking for like a nice mixed drink, don't bother. If you like passion fruit, then yeah, go ahead. But if you really like lychee, don't bother with this. I'll finish it off. It's not disgusting or anything. It's just disappointing. <sighs> anyway, those are the free drinks. But I have some bonus items that aren't drinks. It's jerky. And I realise I left them in the cupboard. Give me a second. Right, so these, I don't normally buy jerky, I'm not normally a cured meat type of fella. I do like a bit of cabanossi, but usually even then it's just like the pork and poultry, but they were sending these off in Tesco for dirt cheap, like, they have the, like, the club card which gives you money off things, and for some reason, I assume this was like an oversight, the normal price was like £2 something, but the club card price was 30 pence each, and I naturally bought a couple of each. But we got Korean barbecue and we got chipotle. Now I'm assuming the chipotle is going to be spicier and the Korean barbecue is going to be disappointing. Actually, but they're both going to be disappointing, aren't they? Anyway, high protein snacking. Oh, they better be at that price. These are like two pounds something normally. I do the chipotle one first. Mm, look at that! Look at that chunk of meat. By the way, it's a little side note. I can't really see this from the camber, but it says rump steak marinated and lightly smoked over natural wood. Asterix, so obviously there's some bullshit to that. But it doesn't say the same thing on that one, no asterix. It's very bizarre. Anyway, here's the meat. I'm going to give it a sniff. Well, it definitely smells like it's got some spicy marinade on it. Well, not even spicy, to be honest. It's got some smell, but how does it taste? It doesn't taste very spicy in the slightest, which on one hand is good for me because I hate spicy stuff anyway. But on the other, if you're looking for something with a bit more of a kick, get, get something else. Don't. But for what it is, it's fine. I could even finish my fork then. Um, how can this one be 97 calories and this one 99? Despite the fact they're both 10 grams of protein. Actually, they're different weights. 35 and... No, they're the same weight. I don't know how that works out. Somehow the marinade in that one, or lack of marinade, somehow makes it more calories. I don't know. It, I don't even why they bother. Nobody, nobody reads that shit anyway. I mean, I did, but I don't really care. Anyway, Korean barbecue. I would love to try like a proper Korean barbecue one day. It probably is absolutely amazing. Um, here we go. It looks identical. It might be identical. It might be advertising. I do have a funny story that I might tell in a second if I don't forget. Um, I give it a sniff. It smells vaguely different. I don't know if there really is a difference. Um, well, I'm going to give it a chew. I mean, and I'm going to eat it. It's slightly sweeter. 
which is good for Peter. That that's me. Um, no, they're fine. I'll, I'll eat them both, no problem. Just wish they had more flavour. I wish this one had a little bit more of a kick to it, and I wish this one. I don't know. I don't even know. I have no comparison for Korean barbecue. Well, to be honest, I don't have comparison for Chipotle anyway. But I know Chipotle is supposed to be spicy because of that episode of South Park where people keep eating Chipotle and shit in their britches, shit and blood. This was pointless. I mean, all these videos are pointless, but... Anyway, I forgot what that story was now because I'm stupid. Anyway, I'm going to go play some pilot wings. I literally just bought a copy like two hours ago for like six quid from the Kex near me. Does, pi does pilot wings want some steak strips? <coughs> and then we threw up. Goodbye. <laughs>